good YouTube. I'm about to ship all my shoes back to stock X, you know, with the complications I had with them. As you can see, see the stock X tag still attached to the shoe. This is the damages on them. And on this one right here. And they asked for everything that came in the box to be in the box. So the tag still attached. And then it's got stock X sticker, the card, and basically the receipt with my information on it, which I can't show. So we're closing that up. Shoes. Didn't bust them nowhere, nothing. Package these up. I hope UPS can print my label for me. I hope they don't get lost in the storm. If they get lost in the storm, that's gonna be their problem, man. They're gonna have to reimburse me for my money. But yeah, I also, um, I emailed, I emailed them, and they basically said they're gonna give me a full refund once the shoes get in, to verify, and it's gonna take three to five days to give me my money back. And I'll cut the camera back on once I get to the UPS uh, location when I can drop it off, make sure to print my tag and stuff. Yes, sir. So we here at UPS, man. We're about to drop this package off, get the shipping label printed. Hopefully, they can print my label. And, uh, yeah, the shoes will be on their way. Hopefully, this hurricane don't mess up nothing. All right, so YouTube, I just uh, dropped off my my shoes back to them. Uh, I was worrying about the label being cut off, and I came here thinking they'll print it out for me, but they charged me three dollars, and they printed it out, and it came out the same exact way that I was worried about. So he was like, "It, it shouldn't matter." And he was, he said, "As long as the barcode was scannable and stuff." But I basically paid three dollars for something that I could have printed at home. I could have kept one of those papers from home and printed it out. You know what I'm saying? But. They was they, they was very interested in my box. I hope my shoes don't come up fucking missing. <laughs> Cause I gonna be all on them. I'm gonna backtrack with them because I don't talk. I talked to them and held conversation with them about the shoes and stuff, which was kind of kind of bad on my part. But oh well, I left it with them. They received it. They gonna be all on them. Whatever, whatever, whatever happened, wherever it go. But anyway, man, um, shoes sent up, the shoes been sent off and. Now we gotta do wait till they get to um StockX. That's what it is. But I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. I hope y'all like the video. Uh, I don't know. I just have a bad vibe about these shoes overall, like all the way. Like, but anyway, about to take a chance. Once I get my uh, once I get my money back, cause they say it's gonna be a full refund, not just the price of the shoes. And uh, once I get my money back, I'm gonna go see see what Goat talking about. Hopefully, Goat still have the pair. I, 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 the last time I looked, the pair is four ten plus twelve dollars shipping, so it's gonna be four twenty two. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much the same price I paid for these. A little bit, a little bit cheaper, I think. Like I think I paid four twenty eight over here. I mean, for StockX from StockX. But yeah, man, that's the that's the video and that's the move. I'm gonna hopefully snatch them things from uh goat. Hopefully goat don't play no games with me. Hopefully these people at UPS don't play no games with me. But uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you ain't subscribed, please subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the road to 200 uh subscribers. And if you get this, if you get to the 200, if you part of the 200, you get a chance to win $50 cash out. Y'all seen my? If you don't believe that I've been giving away, I did my last giveaway. Go peep that. Go check that video out. Even though I went through a few little things, like two or three people. But, uh, yeah, the shoes has been shipped. And hopefully you subscribe. I hope you like the content, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Be cool. All right, so YouTube, basically, uh, I had to go back to UPS because 
something wouldn't sit right with me. I already feel skeptical about this. And I bought the box there and printed out the label there. And when I when the, when I got ready to leave, I didn't get my receipt. I didn't worry about it. But then on top of that, I remember the dude taking the box and bringing it to the back before putting the label on it. So I went back. So if anything go wrong, if they ship stock X a box of uh peanuts or something, an empty box or something, an empty shoe box, it could be said that they uh printed the label and they attached it to what they want to attach they they mess with the box they did what they want to do right so i'm just taking the focus on me because i just feel like it's bad energy around this shoe and i'm trying to cover all my stuff i'm trying to take the focus off me for sure if anything go wrong but yeah man if they when i went back dude was like i thought i gave you the receipt i'm like nah you gave me the shipping label like the uh not the shipping label the tracking label or whatever you ain't give me the receipt for for paying them four dollars for that label that you printed out you know what i'm saying so they went up there and printed out the label figured it figured out like they were trying to backtrack what time it was the exact time like 322 when i went there and uh i got the label i mean i got the receipt for that so if anything go wrong where because I, I set up there and had a conversation with them about the shoe i didn't tell them what the shoes was but I still had a conversation with them about letting them know basically shoes that I'm returning. You know what I'm saying? So if they want to get friendly and open up the box and see what kind of shoes it is or mess it or do anything slick, then the focus will be on them because when I bought the box there, it's vlogged. And I bought the box there. And also, y'all didn't put the label on in front of me. So it'll be y'all fault. UPS. And it may it'll give me a better shot of getting my money back to, to uh, dispute it. But yeah, I just had to include that part. Y'all learn from me. Don't talk about your shoes and don't talk about what you shipping. I, I got a little bit too comfortable with them people and I don't even know them damn people like that. But I could just say I'm just shipping something. Keep it simple. Don't discuss it because you don't want to tempt nobody. You be like, man, I got some such and such as in there. They be like, oh. And they, they might have a little cold. They might have a little uh, brotherhood in there where they certain stuff come through there. They ship off an uh, empty box and they keep the items and split the profit off whatever but i'm looking too far into it man i just had to include that part